How's it going guys? We're back in Forza Motorsport 5 with another drift build and this time I am doing the 2010 Maserati Gran Turismo S. I really love this car. I have it set up at 680 horsepower with 535 pounds of torque weighing at 3,236 pounds with a 48% front displacement and a 5.4 liter engine. Um, so originally this car actually comes with a 4.7 liter V8, which is really awesome. And I kept it in with a V8 because not many, uh, you know, high performance sports cars like these typically have a V8, especially like a Maserati because it has the Ferrari engine in it. So you would think it would have like a V10 or a V12, um, but it actually has a V8. So I wanted to keep it that way because that's really awesome uh, for a car like this to keep a V8 and uh, it's, it's cool. So I left it that way. And I can relate to this car a lot because in the past prom that I just had in May, I was actually uh, driven in a Maserati Quattroporte a GTS, which was a 2009. Practically, practically the same to this car, besides it has four doors and there's just some differences in the appearance, more so the tail lights and uh, you know, just some small things. But the engine was practically the same. Had the V8 Ferrari engine in there, uh, 4.7 liter. And it was a GTS, so it was a, a more of a sporty version. Um, so it was really cool. So that's kind of the reason why I wanted to do this one, the Gran Turismo, uh, because I could relate to it more. And I really love this car. It really, really looks nice. Um, I did the design myself, nothing too fancy, just a nice mate gray to kind of black finish uh, with some nice red rims on there, uh, two-tone color actually. Um, and it, I think it looks really nice, to be honest. I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, let me know. Uh, but anyways, when it came to uh, actually tuning this car and making it driftable, it was very challenging, surprisingly. Uh, more so to do with the weight because this car is very heavy um, with 3,300 pounds as I was doing the full weight reduction. There wasn't enough power. Uh, so at one point I actually put in like over 700 horsepower, uh, 730 to be exact. And I thought it was just too much for you guys. And I, I thought you guys would think it's just a little bit ridiculous if I posted a video. Um, I mean, it worked. I was getting like a crazy amount of points, uh, but I think the horsepower was just a little bit too high. So I decided to actually, you know, kind of reduce the weight. So I went to the platform and handling and I reduced the chassis reinforcement and roll cage to the street part and um, it reduced it to about 3,236 pounds, which is where it's at. And then I kept the twin turbo in there uh, to balance out with it. Uh, with 680 horsepower and it is very very sturdy very handleable and um you know it's awesome like the handling on this car is just top notch um and this is probably one of my one of my best drift builds actually uh, i was comparing this to my gt500 and it was just up to par both cars have a v8 engine in there um, i find the v8s to be really really awesome when it comes to drifting uh, i don't know why but i mean it's just really awesome um, and I think this car is really, really fun and a really good drift car. So I really want you guys to use this if you guys uh, plan to do any more drifting in the future, uh, especially on Forza Motorsport 5. And I'll, uh, I'll definitely be using this car if it's in Forza Horizon 2, which I hope it is. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I know I did the uh, car packs, like what cars are going to be, uh, not car packs, uh, what car reveals are going to be in the game. I know I did like every season or I mean every week. Oh my god, what am I saying? I did every week reveal, right? But I, I forgot. I forgot the cars, so... I mean, I know the basics, but I don't know all the cars in uh, Forza Horizon 2, so I honestly can't remember if this one's going to be in there or not. Uh, if one of you guys could find out for me, let me know in the comments. I'd be really appreciated, uh, because I'd love to see this car uh, in Horizon 2. It'd be very fun to use. Uh, but I love this track, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I use this track quite a bit. Um, because it's very technical and very very wide. I love how wide the track is So when I want to do these nice these nice uh, drifts, it's very very simple I can just you know <clears throat> Hammer down on the gas and just go, you know, it's really awesome uh, But anyways, we're getting near the end of this video uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys like this video comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already I'll be posting tons more of Forza especially Forza Horizon 2 as that's around the corner and I actually uh, finished my recording today with Nick and Tom, so that'll be really good. Uh, I'll, sh I'll have that video uploaded soon. I don't know what day, uh, but it'll be up there soon. So uh, that was pretty solid. 
and uh, we're getting we're getting to the end with almost 40,000 points like I said a very very solid car I really recommend you guys to use it so you guys should and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time so like I said please leave a like comment and subscribe I'll talk to you guys next time